Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome back to the channel. No kidding, it is 55 degrees today and it is absolutely beautiful. Blue skies, love it, absolutely love it. So of course, had to get out and about on this Lowrider ST and uh, take, a, take a short little cruise and talk to you guys. So what we're gonna be talking about today is things that I have learned since I've started riding motorcycles. Things I've learned about riding motorcycles, about myself and other people. So uh, no time to dilly-dally, let's jump right into it. So first topic of discussion is gonna be this. Do you enjoy the miles or the smiles better? And I'll, uh, I'll get into that, what I mean by that uh, statement. And that's this. When it comes to the miles, are you the top that enjoys getting out and riding and going for long distance and that's what you love about motorcycling, that's what you do? Or are you the top that you enjoy, well, let's just say the ride more than just about anything else? The experience of getting on your motorcycle and just heading out because there is a big difference, you know, there is a big difference. There's a lot of people out there that what they what they care about and what they like to brag about or boast of and tell others is, hey, I've got, you know, I put down 60,000 miles on my motorcycle last year. And to that, you know what I say? That's awesome, man. That is fantastic. If that is what you love, I say more power to you. Get on it and have a good time. For me, I enjoy the ride more. I enjoy the smiles more. And by that, that could come in the form of a short ride for me or a long ride. You know, there might be a, a, a day where I just need to get on my motorcycle for a short ride and head out. And sometimes that clears my head. Sometimes that brings me a little bit of happiness and clarity. And all those things are wonderful. And then there's also the other side of the coin that maybe I decide to go out for a long ride and, you know, I might love it. But then again, I might not because, you know, maybe my head's just not in the game or maybe you know, uh, there's just something else, quite honestly, that I wish that I was doing. Maybe I want to spend time with my wife and enjoy her company. Or maybe there's an opportunity to spend time with friends and family that don't ride. So when it comes to the miles of the smiles, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely down with the smiles. Something else I've learned since I've started riding motorcycles, I mean, I always knew this, and this isn't that much of a fun topic, but it is life and reality, and that's that we all have an expiration date. I mean, when you ride a motorcycle, you take upon yourself certain risks that others won't, you know, for pure in enjoyment, really, when it comes down to it. And we have to make that determination, okay? Is it worth it or not? And if it is, uh, we just continue riding and have a good time with that in the back of our minds. And the reason I say that is, you know, that came to my realization a few years ago. My wife and I were, were in a motorcycle accident. I want to go into all that. But I've got our helmets hanging on the wall in my office just as a reminder that life is absolutely precious and that we all have an expiration date. Again, those type of things, they're on my mind when I, when I ride but they don't consume my thoughts, right? I mean, my, my, my thoughts are on the ride and the enjoyment, my surroundings and my environment, but it is something for us to think about and contemplate and realize the hobby that we have, it just comes with certain risks. Something else that I've learned since I started riding motorcycles is when it comes to our lives, there are many, many acquaintances and so very few friends. You know, an acquaintance would be someone that you know slightly, but you wouldn't consider a close friend, that type of thing. And, you know, I think it's important that as a motorcyclist, there are people that we ride with and we spend time with and we enjoy their company and those type of things. And I think it's just as important to ride with those people as it is to build those relationships and friendships. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm talking about that it is very important to do things with your friends and uh, your riding buddies on the bike as well as off the bike. And the reason I say that is this, you know, I, I've got some good friends that ride and then I have some very close friends that ride. 
And what I mean by that is, you know, Eric and I, we're, uh, we're good buddies. I actually met him through our local hog group and that type of thing. But one of the things that Eric and I did, we, we ride together a bunch, but we also, you know, spend time off the box, sometimes grabbing some food, sometimes hanging out, maybe go and see a, a concert. And on top of that, our wives are very good friends and they like to spend time with each other. So it's not just that, um, it's not just that, you know, I've established bonds and friendships with people, but so is my wife and that is awesome. Anytime you can build those friendships. So one of the things I say is this, invest in your motorcycle. Absolutely invest in your motorcycle, but invest in your friends more with your time, energy, and effort. Again, just something to think about. Let me know what you think. And the last point of discussion that I want to bring up for this video is this. There are still good people in this world. And what do I mean by that? Well, there has been times in my life where I would have probably second-guessed that and said, nah, everybody's a dirtbag. But not only are there good people still in this world, but motorcyclists are some of the best people. And you guys have heard this preached by other motor vloggers time and time again. Motorcyclists are just the nicest, best people. Um, you know, I, I mentioned Eric, my buddy Eric, and, and you know, he's here in town, but I also have long distance friendships. Well, you know, my best friend doesn't even ride at all, but I do have long distance relationships, friendships rather, with um, guys that do ride and we keep in close contact with each other. You know, there's a, a Colin, Bronco Rod, Bodine 52, HDR, Pete's 1800. You know, we are probably texting each other on a regular basis every single day. Now we don't, we don't see each other um, every day or every month for that matter, but we are spending time investing in one another and getting to know one another and I think that is just so, so very important. Again, just fabulous people with wonderful friendships that I made along the way. Now I'm sure if I was going to sit here and rattle off a list, there would be so many other things that I could share with you guys, but time will simply not permit that. So in the comments below, if some of these things I did not name, I'd love to hear from you. What are some of the things that you have learned since you started riding motorcycles? Come on guys, enlighten me and drop those comments below. Anyway, I really appreciate y'all's time. You're too good to me. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll talk again soon.